Okay, I'd like everybody to go to View, Workspace Layouts, Compact again, to restore everything to where it was. Now remember, we've got our project set to 350 by 350 pixels, just for the purposes of this demo. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create our own workspace, we're going to save it, then we're going to change our workspace, and we're going to reload the other one that we saved. Okay, so just follow along for now. So basically, let's pull this properties inspector off and we're going to practice the double tab combination that we looked at earlier. So I'm going to pull this project size by the title bar from the bottom and I'm going to hover around the title bar just under it on the properties pane until I see that little tab like that on the bottom. You see that in gray? And when I let it go, they're going to combine and I'm going to have a tabbed pane. So I'm going to put that beside the stage here, and we're going to go to View, Save Layout. When we click on that, it gives us this little dialog. Now we have to think of a name for our, our layout here. So let's call it Tabbed, and let's press OK. Now we've saved this layout, so if we go and we load our original compact layout back, We've lost all the changes we made to those panes, right? That's not true. Actually, we can go back and we can reload them with a single click by going to View, Workspace Layouts, Tabbed. And there it is. Boom. We've got our tabbed inspector here. It's sitting exactly where we put it, and everything else is exactly the same. It's extremely powerful and extremely simple. You can store a whole bunch of them in there. You can even go into the folder that contains these settings and delete the other ones if they're not as relevant to your work. And uh, let's go back to View, and we'll take a look at how we can... We know now how to save them and how to load them. Let's take a look at how we can remove them. By clicking on View, Remove Layout, we're presented with this little pull-down menu that contains our custom settings. So if we click on Tabbed and then press OK, it will ask us, are you sure that you want to remove this layout? And if you press yes, that's it. It's permanently gone. You can save it again anytime you want, though. And as you can see here from the workspace layouts, there's room for tons more. So the best thing to do is to create different layouts for different aspects of different designs. So for example, if you find yourself creating virtual business cards a lot, it's great to create a workspace layout that suits that. And if you find yourself creating brochures a lot, you can create a second workspace to accommodate that and easily toggle between them with a single click. So that's a very powerful feature of Autoplay Media Studio 5.0 and very easy to use. Next, we'll go on to a review of this chapter.